This is your opening match. Making their way to the ring, representing Deadly Wrestling Alliance, DWA. First, standing 5'11", weighing 310 pounds, Muto Toka. And his partner, standing 6'3", weighing 302 pounds, Kyrogen. Making their way to the ring, PK Heat. First, from Japan, standing 5'9", weighing 227 pounds, Heat. And his partner from Japan, standing six feet even, weighing 194 pounds, Puma Kid. The referee, John Helton. Fight. Drop to hold by Puma Kid, opening the match. Kyogen and myself, rank eight, going against rank two. Six slots, perfectly done. Um, you know, for this match, I wanna, I wanna just, before I get to the other stuff, for this match here, I was like, you know, Kyogen was really bummed out. And yeah, he, he, he tried to go on a rampage. He just went to the equipment room and, and broke all of our dollar store brooms and stuff. But you know what? Fine, we can get some more. That's, that's okay. He scratched some of the, the, the paint and, you know, discovered mold on the wall. He, he scraped that off. Uh, Got to bleach that stuff. Um, so we, we, you know, we handled that. And I, I was like, you know what? You know, we could do tag team. You know, it'd be some matches and, you know. And he was like, yeah, I don't think the heavyweight is for me right now. Yeah, you know, I was like, maybe not. If you guys you still got some aggression. Tag team is a good way to go. And he agreed. And I was like, you know, put your war face on. You ain't like you have much of a war face. Didn't have much. Now, that cover explaining all that. Um oh dragon screw. Um one, I did uh hire security guards. Um Look, I was like, look, I just need you for a little bit. And it was like, oh no, we like what you do. We do, we, you know, because I, I was like, I can't, I can't pay you a large amount of money. And they was like, oh, don't worry, it's tax money anyway. I was like, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> it was like, you know, you, you're paying us no matter what. Give up? Since it's tax money. So, all right, fine, fine. So, they came, you know, I, I got them a room. I figured next to uh, records of C-Max locker room would be best, and they did their job. Good job. Give up? Uh, yeah, man. I was, I was happy about that. They, they, you know, they, they came through. You know, Warden and Warden just, gone. Warden just broke down. He's like, You're a bitch. Uh, um, that's just your best comeback. And I, 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 I enjoyed the uh, interview with Gil and Matriarch. Yeah, I, I enjoyed that. He asked some decent questions. Um, the thing is, this, the, the match had to be changed. It won't be Puma Kid, who's in the ring now. Uh, instead, she'll be going against rank 8 Vicky Williams. And that will not even be the main event. Normally, it would have been, but... Um, you know, going to spouse office, um, Mr. Shigahara, uh, match request against Hojoji. That will be the main event. Kai just working over Puma Kid. I mean, he is kicking and dropping knees. I've been watching this. I, I, I have been watching. Kai just doesn't like he want to tag. He's like, he just want to fight. I'm like, fine, have at it, man. I'd rather personally me, I'd rather do tag team. I like I like teamwork and cooperation and stuff. Oh, he caught that leg and dragon screwed him. Reverse DDT. Puts that leg. And he's on the right side of town to do so. Kaiju makes the tag. I 
back and forth chops. Give up. Gigi Gatame. Whoa. Tombstone power driver. Stomp to the body. Yeah, he knows he's not even going to get the pin with that one. He knows it. He's out. That's not one of his, his, his finishes anyway. And hammer throws him to the corner. DDT. Suplex and out the ring. I'll be honest, Kaiji and I got this thing where we keep suplexing people outside the ring. Oh, the hell, everybody's out there all of a sudden. There we go. Overhead elbow. DDT. Leg kick. Elbow. Low kick. 17, 18, 19, 20. Damn it. That was I doing. And your winners of the match via count outs. PK Heat. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's not our day for, for titles or, or title shots. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I, I don't think I heard the count. I was too busy talking as it was. As you, you know, I'm just saying. Just saying that, you know. Just too busy, too busy trying to help out my partner get some aggression out. And I'm just ignoring the count. Uh, yeah, I don't think he's going to chew my head off. I, th I think he's just in a mood as it is. All right. Let's uh, get to the next match. Making his way to the ring. Representing Peacemakers. Standing 5'11", weighing 198 pounds. The Wild Coyote, Samo Keeb. And his opponent, representing records of C-Max. Standing 5'8", weighing 178 pounds, hip-hop. Referee, John Helton. Fight. And this is a best of three. This is match number one in the three match series for today, at least. Uh, now, although I do know Warden didn't do anything, he just, I'm going to do this, this is what I want. Raga, Raga seems to be the more diplomatic one. So he went to Spout kindly and requested that his, that the Warden's demands be turned into official matches. And he said that um, by doing that, everyone gets paid and they'll work harder to eliminate uh, records of C-Max and try to restore order to CR Fire Pro. And she had no problem going with that. And I concurred. I was like, I just want them gone. You know, I just, I just want them gone. And these two, she, she's lighting him up. She is lighting him up. Oh, headbutt. One. From my understanding of uh, notes, Samo Keeb is their newest addition. He's been a part of them for the past six and a half months or so. Not seven. I don't even think six and three quarters. Uh. Oh, real back headbutt. Sleep on. Give up. Give up. Um, I, so I'm, I'm hoping, you know, in that last match, I just got to say this. I, I was, even the commentary, commentator, Come on. I was, I was a little bit Come on. distracted. Come on. Just watching the Come match on. and just making sure Kyle was going to be out. I was kind of checking him out more so than myself. Break. But, uh, yeah, in the game huh. and I, and out of the game, I was distracted. Oh. So, yeah, my bad. Ooh. I'm going to try to make it up to him somehow, even if you don't want me to. That's, that's, that's what I do. 
Mule pop, uh, she, <laughs> bulldog and headlock. Oh, follow fist drop. Back in the day, I call that the million dollar fist drop. Because I, don't, I, don't I haven't seen anyone do that like Ted, uh, million dollar man Ted DiBiase. Five minutes gone. Body blow. Tattooing him. Hammer punch. Well, not hammer punch, but uh, axe, single arm axe handle. Uppercut. I mean, she's a fighter for real. Body blow. She tried to chain that up with a nice straight, straight right. One, two. Summer Keeve, uh, uh -oh. Somersault DDT. Whoa. Oh, shit. Oh, he brained her. He brained her. He brained her. She, she kicked out. He brained the hell out of her. She got brained, Bra yo. <laughs> oh, oh no, man. If I was hip hop, I couldn't deal with that. We'd have to, we'd have to really fight. Man, she is ripped. I'm just saying. Elbow knockdown. Man, he charged that hand up and brained the shit out of him. That was funny. Oh! Give up. Oh, she's braining him. They, 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 they just braining each other. Manhattan drop. He stands. Off the ropes. Oh, hip attack. Yusuke style hip attack. One, two. Ruske. Oh, Somersault DDT. Go for the pin. One, two. No fan fell there. 2.9. Two and nine tenths. Two and getting it on. Yo, she goes for the cover. Two. two. Raga said that, um. Oh! Raga said Samo was, um. So the mellow wise, the smaller of the group. He's, he's the junior. Oh! Huh. Russian leg sweep. Whatever she's trying, he is not gonna let her do. Oh, oh! Taser chops! Taser chop rush! Huh. Oh, he's dragging her out! He's dragging mm -hmm. Oh, shit! He caught, he, okay, he caught that back of the Kalote! He caught that back to the Kurota. That's a hell of a bite. Uh, Bulldog in headlock. Ten minutes gone. I wish I'd see more people do that though. The Bulldog in headlock. Ooh, flying hip attack. Off the top rope. She's waiting. Uh, he, he said, nah, man. Go to the back. And she's tired. She be tired. Oh, right straight punch. He might be out. One. Referee John Ruff is counting. Two point nine. Huh. Back and forth, turn the chat. Huh. And punches huh. back and forth. Huh. Elbows, I mean. Huh. Rolling Kata Giddy Chat. Put her off the ropes. Put her in there. Chat, chat, duck chaps, duck chaps. These two are battling. Manhattan drop off the ropes. Hip attack, yes. Saw it before, I figured it might see it again. Mountain punch to the back, that's illegal. Two, to the back of the hole, the rabbit punches. Can't do that, that's illegal. Whoa. Somersault DDT. Whoa. Oh, it's charging up. Back in the club though. One, One, two, two three. three. And your winner of the match is Simon. <laughs> oh man that 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 was good that, <laughs> that was good oh man she ain't, she ain't no but she ain't gonna call my pussy faction me now after taking that ass whooping oh uh, she she bought it though she could easily won that match too that was a back and forth all right, let's get rolling. We got them. We got their second match in this series of three for today. Making his way to the ring, representing Peacemakers, standing six feet eleven inches tall, weighing 
370 pounds, the tenderizer, Henry Brown. Making his way to the ring. Representing records of C Max. Standing 5'11, weighing 240 pounds. Lap down. The referee, John Helton. Fight. Yeah, you're probably wondering why John Helton is refereeing so many matches. And mainly that's because Give we're up. trying to get him prepared. We're trying to get him prepared. Um, lockdown is the one that Henry Brown uh, quote unquote tapped out to. I had a talk with him about I said, look. I don't know what's going on with you and Raga and them. I don't know. I don't know how you do your business, but we don't throw matches. We don't take matches. That ain't what we do here. We fight. You know, that's the show. If the fans like it, they like it. They don't, they don't. But we we wrestle to win. You know, mistakes happen, but we wrestle to win. He just says straight, straight up. I don't answer to you, you know. I I barely answer to Raga. One. He said he said that he, you know, he owes him a solid. One. Because he doesn't two. like tanking matches. Not the reputation he earned. Give up. And you know, I'm not gonna lie. You know, yeah, me and Henry Brown, we go way back a bit, dark ages. So it was unexpected that you would do that. And lockdown was angry. A lockdown was like, look. He said, I don't give a fuck what anybody got to say. You know, he 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 said he did oh dragon back breaker. He um he didn't tap out to me that day, he said he'll tap out to me today. I mean he was he upset over that. He said he's gonna make him tap one way or the other. And I'm like, I I you know, I was listening, I looked at him, I said, Give up. If you do, maybe we'll teach him a lesson. They just stared at me. And I was like, yeah, my bad. I just walked off. And then I have to run. Oh, shit! You dumbass. Look, they were talking to the fans like that. Man, he hurt Henry. He hurt Henry. Oh, snap. Oh, he hurt Henry. We're going to have to check on that arm. The series is tied. Yeah, that's a low grade match. That's a low grade match. But and he, he, I don't think Henry was ever going to tap. He had to hurt him. Oh man. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna check on Henry. We're gonna see if he can uh, wrestle next week because some tell me this series is gonna be a whole. There's gonna be some tag team and stuff. You can't just do singles. That that just gets boring doing all singles. And they only do singles, man. I'll be like, y'all just opening the match. How about that? Y'all do singles, just open the damn match. That's all y'all got. But, uh, yeah, we got to, we got to, woo! Poor Henry. Somebody just texted me on the phone. So, I'm going to check that out, see what's going on. Making her way to the ring, representing Peacemakers. From Parks Unknown, standing 6'5", weighing 233 pounds, the Grill Breaker. And your current CRF Fire Pro Heavyweight Champion, Savas Bonavance. And making his way to the ring, representing records of C Max. Standing six feet three inches tall, weighing 209 pounds. This is Boot Down. Bring it! Oh, she's gonna bring it. Your referee, the Larry. Fight! I told Savas, I don't risk my champions. Get somebody else. And she said, it's not about title. It's about damage. I'm like, all right, fine, Savas, fine. Ah. And she just looked at me and said, you couldn't stop me ah. anyway. I don't know why that was kind of, you know. You dumbass. Made me feel kind of good. But I don't know. I, 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 I like a strong ah. woman. I, you know, I'm just saying. 
She is jacking those eyes up. Ah. They're, 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 they're clowning Henry Brown in the back. They're clowning him. Ah. Oh, low blow. Ah. Oh, man, that's jacked up. But right now, the series is tied. The series is tied. Samo Key with the win. Lockdown with the win. Who's going to win between Sabah Sportovic and Beatdown? I am curious. I honestly didn't expect it to go this way. Can Beatdown do what Kyogen and others could not do? That's the question. And they are fighting. I mean, they are feverishly fighting, and she's tearing them eyes up. She's working you the, the two piece in a biscuit. Uh, oh, looking uh, over They are beating the brakes off each other. Good grief. Bring it. Maybe this should have been bring the main it. event. Good grief. Bring it. Bring it. Oh, man. Something had to slow him down at some point. Now they're starting to fall out, I guess. Five. I don't know. Oh, man. Good grief. Ah. I, I, I don't know. I think Savas is like overjoyed in the ring right now. Oh, elbows. It's one, two elbows. You dumbass. And he's just talking shit. Five. And yes, he yeah. was specifically trained by the warden in uh, Charlotte Maximum Security yeah. Prison. Five minutes gone. It's, a, it's actually a super max. And it's one of the highest on levels. They've got guards uh. stationed half a mile outside with sniper rifles and um, revolvers. They got two revolvers, one sniper rifle. What? They've got Two. guards um, just outside the walls with, with handguns and, and tasers. I mean, it's a terrible looking prison. The inside looks immaculate, but uh. they said the guards are higher than the criminals. One. Two. See, see it wasn't, yeah. I, I can understand. Oh, he blocks it. Right hook. Uh. Uppercut. Oh, she, he, he said it going down. One, One two, two. Oh, go for the pin. That's what he meant, 2.9. Oh, he's blocking again. You dumbass. Oh, low block. Oh, he, he rolls the rock. He rolls the rock. 2.9. And he blocks again. Elbow. I know peacemakers enjoy, enjoy a fight. Oh, he runs up again. One, two. 2.9. Throwing them elbows. Two piece in the biscuit. Oh, he, he, he just keeps blocking. He keeps blocking that. Again. Uh. Elbow. I mean, an uh, uppercut. She gets up pretty fast. Yeah. Oh, epic body blow. She taught yeah. German yeah. suplex home from ground. One, One two. two. Oh, no. Not even, just two and a quarter. The rising jabs. Haymaker. That haymaker punch. He's trying to knock her out. Oh, man. Strangulation. She might be out. She might be out. That's it. That's it. No, she's up. It's only been 10 minutes. Bring it. Bring Back it. and forth. Back Bring and it. forth. Petra. High kick. Oh, headbutt. Check for some blood there. No, she high. Combination. High kick combination. Well, Eddie getting a high kick. 
puts him down from behind. Penalty kick. She's tired. And like I said before, that's her Achilles heel. Oh, he just shouldn't got duped up. That, that looping Russian hook combination punch. That's it. One, two, two three. three. You dumbass. Fuck you. You keep saying that shit to me. Man. Yo, win of the match. Beat down. That that was intense. That was intense. Um, wow. So JWO won. Not JWO. Shit. I'm sorry. Uh, Records of C Max. They they won this opening one. They they won it. I really didn't want them to, but they won it. Whew. All right. Let's let's get to some ranked matches. Uh. Other than the opening match, which <clears throat> my bad. Sorry, Kaijin. Uh so yeah, let's get rolling. Making her way to the ring. Representing hierarchy. Standing five feet eleven inches tall, weighing 229 pounds, Vivian Soul Sister. Making his way to the ring, representing Galaxy. Standing six feet even, weighing 275 pounds, this is World. <laughs> Referee, Mr. Senior Junior. Fight! And this is a mixed match, this is Vivian Soul Sister. Rank 26 going against rank 18, my son, World. That's what's going on here. And that last match was intense. I just knew Savas was a ringer. I knew she was. But when she left the ring, she was holding her face and smiling. She was smiling. I, yeah. I, I just, I don't know. I don't understand. I, I don't get it. New to the body by Vivian Soul Sister. I've heard, I've seen one uh, person uh, in Japan, I heard somebody pronounce Vivian as Vivian. Like Bibian. I was like, oh, that's cute. I was like, Bibian. It was, it was freaking adorable to me, all right? It was some girl, she had to have been about seven or eight, calling her aunt or, or somebody. It was some, some anime I saw. Um, One. And then it was reenacted somewhere on YouTube, and it was so adorable. But this was, woo, two, three years ago. And I've had Vivian. Ah, since 94, 93, something like that. Oh yeah, 1993 or 94, one of them. Oh man, swinging Hamer's neck, loose no, net breaker. Stomp to the face. World is gonna work that dome. And it's obviously up. so is she. So right now we got some dome workage going on. Give Side up. headlock. Oh, suplex One, to the outside two, or your standard issue three, brain buster in Japan. Hangman's loose net breaker, five, swinging style, but still the kind they got because seven, this game wanted to make everything fast. If they had a slow version, have it'd be Rick Rude's move. DDT. She tried to get that chair. She tried. She just, I think she slightly missed. Five minutes gone. Elbow, tears a chop back and forth. Uh, when I first saw them, they were taser chops, and then uh, saw that they were called Katsugiri chops. I don't know if Katsugiri means taser or something. I don't know. 
Left punch, missed that high kick. Jumping brain buster. Vivian's up first and picks up the player of the move. Side headlock. Give up. No worm down. Give up. Elbow to the back. What's that sound? Oh, my phone going off. Okay, alarm. Face crusher. Looked up just in time to see that. To see that. One, Put the leg wisely. Two. Overhead elbow. Oh, missed that clothesline. Butt behind. Elbow butt. Off the ropes at some point. There we go. Oh, jumping knee. Oh, she got him by the throat. One, she took two, him down. The throat, three, the throat. Get him. Four. Come on, get him off. Got to see a good contest. Oh, hey, hey, Western Lariat. One, One two. two. That was close. That was close. Swinging that breaker drop. Crowd not happy with either one of them. One, two. Swinging Hamer's loose net breaker. He's working that neck. Face crusher. One, I two. Never lie, I've never seen World do so many face crushers. This is the most I've ever seen him do it. Maybe he's trying to make up another whole world western lariat. One, One two, two, two point nine. Knee to the to the chest there. Sleeper choke. Give up. Sleeper choke. Give up. Rolling lariat. Ten minutes ago. Dragon screen neck breaker. That's his baby right there. One, two, two point nine. Small package. One, gotta get back. Two, two point nine. Single leg takedown to the mount. Float over. Spin. Take down. Active amateur style wrestling. MMA shoot style wrestling also. Great. I love seeing that type of stuff. I love seeing it. Oh, yeah, and it wears them out, too. That, that'll tire you out. They're both loopy. Spinning net breaker. He's got to recover from that map game. he got to recover from that spinning net breaker drop. Rakes the eyes. Head up, Walter. That's the third one. Can three times beat the charm? It's third time the charm. It's third time the charm. One. one. Two. Two. No, it is not. What does she got in her game that's gonna help? Stand and switch, elbow butt. Shoots him to the outside. One. She's gonna get some air back. Two. Three. She is tired. No rest for the weary. Side headlock. Give up. Give up. They have damaged each other. And they, I mean, they, they are working. Oh. She caught with those hammer punches. Rolls them over. That could be One, it. Two, three. three. She got him. She ground him down and won. Your winner of the match representing hierarchy. Vivian's soul sister. That was a good match. That, uh, that was a good match. World was focused, but... Vivian, I mean, they just ground each other down, and eventually, just you ain't gonna get up after you been beat down enough. That was that was good. That was that was a good display of of stamina. That was a stamina game right there. Um, so yeah, let's. Good job. She comes up those those ten ranks. You can only do that in the mixed division. Ten ranks. All right, let's get to the juniors. Matriarch versus the uh, Vicky Williams. Making her way to the ring. Representing hierarchy, leader, steady five foot seven, weighing two hundred sixteen pounds, the matriarch.
making her way to the ring, representing focused aggression. One half of Texas has Stay five foot four weighing 125 pounds. And your current one half of the CR Fire Pro Tag Team Champions, the Texas Cruncher, Vicki Williams. Your referee, Mr. Senior. Fight! And uh, it's not necessarily impromptu. Matriarch was informed immediately as the, uh, as the change came. So she had plenty of time. So, so did Vicky Williams. Um, normally when it comes to these, I actually will try to skip my champions. But Spout and I really thought, talked about it just a little bit. And we was like, there's no way to do this. You know, you, you, Vicky has to. You can't skip Vicky. And Vicky was like, you know, she's riding high and she's like a challenge is a challenge. So, yeah. And she that's what she said. That's what she want. That's what she going to get. So, it's just one rank higher. Just one rank. I thought Puma Kid could have still wrestled. I mean, he barely really did anything. I mean, he took a slight beating. But there's no need to, to risk anything more than, than you have to. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Yeah, outside that ring. Nine. Ten. And they're battling. And they beating the hell out of each other. All one, right. In the in. Who are you two. counting? Okay. Come on now, Mr. Senior. Shoulder thrust. And yeah, I've noticed a few things here. I, 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 and Mato was talking to me. You know, I, I started this the the intro a little bit. I, I, when Mato was talking to me, and she was like, "Have you seen the thing with Comet and Junior Power Champion?" I'm like, "What thing?" You know, and this you know follow up. Do you watch the shows afterwards? I'm like, when I feel like it, but I don't know. Maybe skipping matches or the end of certain matches. Maybe I don't know. I just missed it. So. And she just said that Junior Power Champions might be trying to uh, take comment from our relationship. And I'm like, well, you know, he's just fresh off the ass whooping from Borealis. I mean, you know, kind of still from what they went through. Five minutes gone. What, what is wrong with him? You know, but I, I don't, you know, I'm, look, I, don't, I, I haven't seen it, so I'm going to have to just... I'm taking my I'm taking my woman's word for it. She has no reason to lie. Uh, I don't know. I I probably have to watch the match or whatever the fuck it was. Oh, DDT that that was just about got the room in the chair. Um, that I'm at the well not the match but whatever whatever happened backstage. Maybe she'll show it to me or something. I don't know. I'm like, look, so long as comment doesn't go outside the relationship or do anything like. You know that kind of stuff with anybody. I don't give a shit. You know, if she wants to turn your heart in somebody's kneecap. Fine. You know, I don't care. Just don't be doing nothing with, with nobody else. You know, nothing romantic or anything thereof. I don't give a shit. Make sure I got a nice control over this. Give got the up. figure four leg lock set in. Frankensteiner off the ropes. That was some coast to coast running right there with the elbow drop. Oh no, 10 John Tombstone power driver. You get Rik Rikishi One, style. Two. two. Frankensteiner. What the hell? One. Two. I see. I, I see Comet walking down the side of the aisle, coming toward. I don't know what she want. She's getting close. It's bugging me. Oh, flying knee strike! I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to handle Comet a little bit. Folding power bomb counter. One, if we can handle two. Comet in a moment. I don't know. If I if I miss the end of this match, I'm sorry. I'm just. Oh my goodness. 
It's the wrong time to bring this up, girls. So I got to go for a little bit. I got, oh crap. Yeah, here she come. What, woman? Comet being gone, uh, ah, she wanted to talk to me about the whole thing with Junior Power Champion. Oh, Pyramid Driver. One, Pyramid Driver. Two. 2.9, and, oh, man, I, I can hear the match, and I was trying to glance at it. I just couldn't. She's, look at me. We got yeah. a top. Oh, she, she went for that Frankenstein. She got caught with a knee, and now she's in the Give Buffalo up. Snooper. Satellite, pump scissors, uh, throw. All right. Over. She's got her up. Spinning sit out, dragon bomb. One, two, two, four, nine. Bojack is trying to climb those 10 spots for this. Just a special two. Oh, pop up, power bomb. Two. Sit out style, 2.9. Elbow to the back. She's tired. Make sure it's a strong power wrestler. So she gets tired oh, fast. Oh, she's got her up again. Another one. Spinning sit out. Dragon one, bomb. Two. Two, two point. I keep dragging that three. The crowd is into this and they are loving it. I kept wondering why they were getting so loud. Running over, drop off the ropes. That rebo rebound style elbow drop. Make sure I got her up. Picks her up. Suplex. Keeping it towards the middle of the ring. Up kick. Guard position. Juju Katami. And she does. No point of the match by Juju Katami submission. Vicky, the Texas Plancha Williams. This is not the match you are looking for. <laughs> that's exactly what I'm sure someone is thinking of Matriarch but I'll say this that was a great match it was fun for what I could see of it um, I, from what I saw that should have been more than 79% but look we got a main event to get to so let's, let's get going Ooh.
making his way to the ring. From Japan, standing 6 feet 1 inches tall, weighing 235 pounds, bottomless power, Shigata Shingo! And his opponent, from Japan, standing 6 feet even, weighing 238 pounds, heart and soul. Kajoji Takumi! The referee, Chuck Goose. Fight! This is heavyweight. Originally, uh, Shingo wanted to wrestle Takumi uh in the mixed division and they are like at that very at that time they were like the most bottom two so they really would have been a great chance oh wow and uh i'm like i just made an executive choice here and i thought there'd be more to gain uh more. in the heavyweight division since they are you know five weeks apart looking at this uh, Shiata at 11 and Kojoji at 6. And Shingo got the chair quick. Oh, head and neck vice. Ah! 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 Now, uh, I want to say this. Um, Kuyura. I... I don't know what's going on with Hojoji and his agents. I don't, I don't know, agent or agents. Uh, but they really need to work on getting him some ring music here. Um, I mean, you know, we're, you know, we're using the, the open, the, the uh, outdoor arena of the big gardens here. But I don't like using their music. You know, I really don't. That's what that's what that's who produced the music. Um, I'm just not, you know, not and I use that for every other outdoor arena. But he needs he needs his own music. He reverse the suplex into one of his own. Throat chops. Oh. And they're fighting hard and heavy here too. Head and neck vice. Back and forth. Ooh. Knife edge chops. Throwing them, throwing them. Chops win. Ha <laughs> ha. Elbow drop. Pulling on that knee. Five minutes gone. Go Guntega. Throat shot. Oh, yeah. That throat shot was just coming to the top. There he go. Diving elbow drop. <laughs> go behind. Elbow. To the top again. Diving elbow. Oh, he missed. He Two missed. Years. Giddy giddy. Give up. Grinding that form to the side of the head. Behind the body slam. Guillotine drop. Front head lock, elbow, stomp to the back. Boston Crab, that reverse Boston Crab. That stiff chop missed. Backslide. But Joji is, is, is mostly, mostly slightly in control of this match. It's, right now he's in that most area. He just went from slight to most. Vertical suplex. Stomp to the guts. Another one. Arm drag. Has returned to stomp to the guts. Picks him up. Shoots him off. He's going to the corner. Does he get there in time? He puts him in there. Toe kick. Stop and kick. And, and that uh, foot choke. 
<laughs> this main event is one that I find very special. So I made it. It was going to be an opening match. I was like, no. Yeah. Oh, jumping crush through Tombstone Power Driver. That's one, one of his finishes. Two. Yeah. Oh, that standing Three. stretch plume. Don't get caught monologuing, man. Back body drop, he goes to the outside. One. Chuck Deuce with the count. Chuck three. Deuce with the count. Very slow, steady count. He's got him this time. Power driver. A Terry Funk style power driver. Ten minutes. Roman Cops get a chop. He back smacked him across the face. Takumi has got to be upset over that. He says this is over. Diving Roman guillotine drop. He's out. What the match? Step twice. And your winner of the match, Shihara Shingo. Oh my goodness. Shigahara is. Shigahara, what is you doing, man? Okay, but he, he climbs those ranks. <laughs> Shigahara is uh wow. And no, I'm not mispronouncing the name. It's not Shigehara. No, it's just lack of lettering. It's Shigehara originally, and that's you know his agent let me know. <laughs> his agent let me know like you pronounce my wrestlers, you know my client's name right. I was like, all right, man. You know, they're breathing down my neck. You know, he, you know, he, he he's kind of intimidating. Um, but yeah, that's look the match. Look, okay, short match. Yeah, fine. But you know what? I like look. You know, Shingo. He he hails from Japan, and you know what? We're gonna go shoot style with this. We're gonna shoot style because this is what I love. Okay, Shingo Shigahara. You know his 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 creator Edgend is um you know he he lives born raised live in Japan and you got Takumi Hojoji Japanese wrestler edit but made by you know German who I believe currently works in Japan and I get to sit here and commentate this match well I commentated this match. You know, and I'm in the USA. I'm in the United States. And in a technological age, you get stuff like this. We've got so much, you know, technology. Hey, if you use it right, it's beautiful. But when you abuse it, it hurts everybody. It really does. So I'm fortunate and happy to be able to call a match like this. That's why I wanted to be the main event, because I enjoy the thought of this. And this might become more common in the future. Who knows? But this Cold Dawn series, I wanted to start off with something awesome, and it did. Not only did we get a, a, a good match, it was it was a great match going, but Shingo decided that he didn't want to wrestle anymore. So he, you know, he 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 scored a critical, and and, and what I do here, criticals are uh, cause for plausible injuries. You know, you might be sore, you might be bruised. You might be out for certain for a certain amount of events. You might be out for a certain amount of months, or it might be permanent. It just depends. So, you know, we're going to see what the determination is, and I will definitely get an update on that. Um, you know, either next event or somewhere uh, on the website or something like that. I'm not sure what what would be best. You know, you know what you can do. You can let me know right now. In the comment section, let me know what I should do with the injury reports. Should I put them on my website, uh, which is inspired by John Newby from what uh, the website that he started? And I wanted, to, you know, I thought it was so cool. I wanted to do one of my own, you know. Or should I just do it on uh, an update, maybe on Discord? Or should I do it when I just, you know, do the next event? You know that you know you make the choice. You know, website, Discord, or the next event. Or I could do all three. That's a that's a fourth and, and decent option. So you let me know what you think. Um, 
I don't really have much else to say other than it's been a very uh, disappointing event when it comes to uh, Peacemakers versus Records of C-Max. But other than that, I'm happy. Um, Comments, I wish she wouldn't have bothered me during that match. I really wanted to just commentate the match, but she wanted to clear out her thing. So, hey, that's how this goes, you know. And I'm having fun. This is the Cold Dawn series. This is Cedric for CR Wrestling, for CR Fire Pro. Wait for it. Good night.